Hello everybody and welcome to another Nail Talk Live e-workshop on this Wednesday evening. Tonight we have a very special show for us and I'm not here alone. I'm supported by two trainers tonight. Sarisa is here, the brand manager of Magnetic Nail Design. And Jessica is here, who takes care of all of the homework, but is also the Dutch queen of nail art. And why are they here? Because tonight we're going to show you the new Magnetic Nail Design products. And we have a lot of beautiful things to show, we, to show you. I even needed a script. Sarisa is going to focus on the blush application tonight. So how can you create very beautiful, modest, natural nail treatments in seven new extraordinary colors? While Jessica takes us into the world of nail art, hand painting and a little bit of stamping nail art. So tons of inspiration for you because this weekend we are launching all of the new products on the Magnetic Worldwide Magnetic Days. More about that in a minute. I also have the winners of Nia Marie's challenge of two weeks ago. And of course, Dermatalk is here tonight. And the topic tonight is the hypernychium. So what can Wendy tell us about hypernychium? We have a lot to do, a lot of ground to cover. So let's get started. So, hopefully tonight a lot of people are going to join us, both from the Netherlands but also internationally. Because of the second day of Easter last Monday, we didn't have a Dutch show on the Monday evening. And that's quite unusual because normally we always launch the new products in the Dutch e-workshop. And now with the international e-workshop also on the Wednesday evenings, we decided because of Easter to do it all on the Wednesday evening. But if you're from Holland and you have a question, don't hesitate to contact me or let me know. The same goes, of course, for all of you guys from outside of the Netherlands. I have my telephone handy and the same goes for Syriza and also for Jessica. So they can jump in when needed or when you have a question that I cannot answer. Uh, tonight we're launching the new product, which will be available from this weekend, from Saturday the 6th. So coming weekend, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, we have worldwide magnetic days with discounts on the whole assortment, excluding new products. We're launching new products, new coffee blushes and also new gel polishes and a stamping plate and a new beautiful brush. And of course, you're more than welcome to come to us in Soesterberg, the Netherlands, or to one of our distributors in the Netherlands or outside of the Netherlands. And don't forget our Dutch shops in Deert and Kaatsheuvel, because they also have a program. But as a special treat for the Dutch viewers, this Friday, Ries and I will go online to take you behind the scenes of what are we doing to prepare the open house days this weekend. Well, spring is in the air, and that means that we need a cup of coffee. That's a little bit of a strange bridge, but Syriza, of course, you're the brand manager. All of our trainers contact you and me when they need something special. And we were contacted by Luella and Silvana, our blush babes, because they had a very special request. What was that? Hello everybody, very nice that you're watching all together. So uh, today I'm going to show you this uh, request from our blush babes. And the request was uh, yeah, coffee blended colors, uh, new tones and uh, yeah, nice warm, yeah, warm, warm uh, colors, thinking about hot drinks. Um, of course, I first want to show you the packages. Uh, I think you already saw a little bit on the internet, of course, uh, of the colors, but never forget about the packages because we spent a lot of time working on the designs. So let's have a look first. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, this it's little, beautiful. Yeah, this coffee to go <laughs> cup like a, a window, a venster, where you can see which blush, blush is inside. This is really spectacular, I love this. And then, of course, the different bottles. First, want to show you all of them. Yes, Pepin, you have a question? No, I don't have a question. Oh, sorry. The Blush Babes requested nude and brown shades specifically because they noticed that a lot of people that want to wear natural nail treatments were asking for warmer colors, more brown shades and more taupe shades. 
even a little bit more ivory. So it's actually a very classic collection that really fits the current fashion trend. And before we go back to Syriza, let's have a look at the whole blushes collection, the seven bottles and the seven colors in the image that we created for these blushes. Here they are, wow. seven colors of coffee shades. And that's because of course, the blush babes, when they come into the office, Theresa, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but they always enter with a takeaway cup of coffee. Yes. Sometimes a cappuccino, sometimes a chai latte, sometimes yeah. a double espresso, but always with the big takeaway cups of coffee. And that was a total inspiration. The same goes for you, Theresa. Every day that you arrive, you come in <laughs> with a well-known brand of coffee <laughs> cup to go. And that's why this collection is coffee to go. Yeah, I really love this uh, this collection, and especially as Pepijn told you, uh, I always like to bring my own uh, uh, bucket of coffee. Uh, the bigger, the better, uh, and it's a well-known uh, uh, coffee shop where you can buy this coffee, of course. But I really love it, and uh, yeah, it helps me to to start the day, a fresh new day at the head at the headquarters. First, a cup of coffee, and then, of course, I'm going to start. That's why I love this collection so much, and I like everything. Uh, maybe the, the, what's the name again? Double espresso. Maybe not the devil, double espresso, but the rest I love. Let's have a look at the first three. Luckily, everybody has their own preference, true, of that's course. That's true. <laughs> that's also, that also goes with the colors. Of course, on the left, the flat white, latte macchiato and chai latte. Those are the first three. I'm just coming to you because the sound is a little bit off. Oh. So I want to check if everything is okay. It's okay. Yeah, let's try again. Then the cappuccino, iced mocha, and caramel macchiato. Oh, my mother, my mouth is watering right now. I really need it, decaf. And then, of course, the dark espresso. Those are the bottles, and I love the packages, love the bottles, but I really go berserk over the colors. Nadia Munk has a very great idea. She says in the comments, and we have the sweetest air nail stencils for this collection. True. The for the coffee collection for nail art. Great idea. Great idea. Why didn't I think about that? Very nice. So those uh, these are the very nice coffee blushes, and I think for every skin tone there is a color. I really want to try them all. And of course, if you are team mat, like I am, it's also the the mat version, of course. Very Beautiful. nice colors. And it's important to state also that these are really builders in the bottle, so you can really build the whole natural nail treatment in one application. Am I right, Theresa? Yeah, that's completely true. Uh, as you can read on the packages, it says gel classics. You can, if I can have a look, the gel classics. Uh, blush gel classic that means that this uh, blush is exactly the same as the 12 first colors that we uh, that we had so it's the same uh, uh, workability uh, also the same um, transparency or uh, transparency uh, the, the coverage the same coverage the same structure of working and pigmentation uh, um, uh, curing uh, curing time, etc., uh, etc. Et so it's exactly the same as the first 12. And of course, I'm going to show you how easy it is uh, as an application. Yeah, while you are preparing for that, of course, you may wondering, where can I buy these coffee blushes? Well, the answer is all over the world starting this Saturday, the 6th of April, because this weekend, the Saturday, Sunday and Monday, we have magnetic discount days and we always launch new colors during the discount days. So the new colors, these new coffee blushes, but also the jelly bean collection of the gel polishes are all available through our distributors and of course through magnetic headquarters this Saturday, Sunday and Monday. The discount is on the whole assortment of products. So just contact your local distributor to find out what they are organizing. The discounts are also, and the new products are also available online. I see that a lot of our distributors are already joining us this evening. Some already are in love like Bianca Freigang with the coffee collections. Um, Magda says we also have a best moment stamping match. I think all of our distributors and trainers have different ideas on how to work and show these beautiful coffee blushes best to you and your clients, of course. So contact your local distributor and ask them for advice how to work with these colors. 
before we go into the application, we have a commercial of the blushes to go, but we also have a very short behind the scenes. Because behind the scenes is a lot of fun for this commercial. We hired a special barista truck and he came, a real barista, and he taught the blush babe, Silvana, Luella, but also Gina and Kelsey, how to make a um, cappuccino, how to do all of that in order to show you the look, the feel and the emotion that you feel when you see the coffees to go. And that's just a glimpse of what happens behind the scenes when we create our commercials or our other things that we make. Of course, you saw also Gillian. Unfortunately, Gillian is a little bit ill this evening. So Deborah, that you all know from the presentation of the International Nails of Life shows, is taking care of the buttons in the back. And uh, we are very happy that she's here because without Deborah, we wouldn't be able to go live because I know how to talk, but I don't know how to work the buttons. Now we go to Sergisa and she's going to show us how these beautiful coffee-to-go blushes work. Yeah, I really want to show it to you, of course. And uh, what everybody knows is that you always use uh, like a blush brush if you want to have this perfect application. Uh, and for now, I'm going to use our very new blush brush. And that is Silvana's Choice Brush. So that is this brush, real nice pinky, uh, really Silvana. At the, in the back and this brush I'm going to use now to uh, uh, to help my gel uh, set in its place. Yeah, we also have an image of this new brush on special request by Silvana, Silvana's choice brush. Here you see our blush babe Silvana, the one of our co founders of the whole blush line and this is her favorite brush it's a little bit longer and a little bit thicker than the blush brush so Shriza will show you but I had to show you the beautiful Silvana up close yeah it's a beautiful brush and really I think this is my favorite it's a little bit in between Jessica's choice and the detailer tree so for me this makes the uh, make makes it the perfect brush uh, for this application of course my first layer I'm going to uh, use just the uh, um, uh, brush from the bottle. I'm going for a thin layer. A little bit more gel. Like you are used to work, of and course. And which color is this? Uh, this is the cappuccino. Oh, I love it. Yeah, very nice. Of course, this is just a thin layer. Uh, you're going to start with, uh, to, uh, to prep the nail, of course, and then using blush primer, soft bond primer or gel polish bond. And after that, you're going to apply this first thin layer and cure. And Silvana says in the comments that she's so, so, so happy with the brush. It actually arrived at Silvana's the day that she went on vacation. So she took the brush with her because, of course, if you have a brush in your name, then you take it with you. I always have my brush with, my, with me. Jessica has her brush. Katharina has her brush. Of course, Henriette has her brush. But this Silvana's just went to Curaçao. <laughs> to the Caribbean and Silvana made a lot of photos and content showing the brush traveling over the Dutch Isles in the Caribbean. So a little bit jealous of the brush, but a <laughs> lot jealous on the vacation. Of course, this uh, uh, new blush brush like Silvana's choice, uh, you can clean it with a gel brush cleaner to keep it uh, uh, really clean and uh, so it's very easy to work with every time you're going to use it. Otherwise the hairs can get a little bit uh, uh, hard. Uh, so clean your brush in it with a gel brush cleaner. Now I'm going for the um, uh, actual application. 
uh, Sabine is asking whether or not you recommend, Syriza, to apply a clear base underneath these blushes. Uh, I, would, I would say yes. Yeah, always a blush glossy as an, uh, as an adhesion layer. And then you can go, uh, go on with your second layer. That's also uh, uh, very good to do. It's what you prefer. I would say yes. It would be, um, uh, it would be smart. Okay, okay, so you take a little bit extra. I take a little bit extra because of the um, because of the tip. And like we are used to when we are work with blush, applying it very thin, starting at the cuticle area, and then bring your blush. Guide your blush. It's more like guiding it over the nail. When you think you need a little bit more gel you can take a little bit more. Yeah, and the blushes are ideal for the non-filing technique, really? as you can also see, because they really self-level perfectly. Yeah, it's very easy. I pay not too much attention now on the non-filing uh, technique, but you can see that it levels uh, perfectly. And I'm almost done like this. You yeah. see, it's very thin application. And still a lot of coverage, eh? Uh, still a lot of coverage. Uh, maybe the coverage is a little bit slightly more than the first 12 blushes. Uh, of course, when you see the, uh, the yeah, side wall area, you can see that it needs a little bit more, more guidance, uh, guidance. And you can do that, of course, with Sylvana's choice. One way, uh, the other way. But if you are used to work uh, sometimes upside down, we have the panic position. Uh, when you see your gel is running into the side walls or the cuticle, you can turn it upside down like this. And like Sylvana always, uh, how Sylvana always works, and a lot of our blush babes is like this. And then with the brush underneath. I cannot do it now on, <laughs> on camera, but you can work like that. Yeah, thank you. You always see them working like this, and then you can use your brush yes. to make it even and make it perfect. But it's already perfect. It stays perfectly in place. So there's not too much to do with the blush brush, but for the next demo, I'm going to use it a little bit more because the self-leveling is just perfect. And I think I'm going to cure it right now. Yes, of course, uh, you're going to cure it. And the new blushes are available in seven colors, as we said. And a lot of these colors are also very um, light. So it's almost an ivory color, a, a latte color, a milky color. And these colors are very in fashion, especially in the more southern European countries. People love to wear light colors on their nails in the heat of summer. So they're spot on trend on spot on time. While I prefer more the new tones, so the softer colors, that reminds me of, of wool and of, of linen. So these colors are an absolute must. But Sarisa, you're going to show us something else also with the blushes. Yes, of course. I'm uh, um, already uh, applying a base layer, as I did before. So a very thin layer of a color of choice. So when you want to use a, a transparent color, like a blush glossy or a rubber base clear, um, first add the uh, transparent layer, cure, and then this second layer. You really need this as a background. So this is my first layer, I'm going to cure this. If you are working uh, very thin, so a very thin layer, uh, 30 seconds uh, is just about enough. Uh, and I recommend you to work uh, nail by nail. So one, first one nail, then the other hand, and one by one. Because, uh, of course, uh, blush can also leak a little bit uh, to the side walls or the cuticle area. So one by one. But Silvana says in the comments that the self-leveling aspect of these blushes is what makes it so amazing. It's almost like you can lay back and let the blush do it her themselves yeah. for you. But of course, you just need a little bit of guidance here and there to make sure that it's utterly perfect, especially because the natural nail treatment is um, one of the characteristics is, of course, a very tight and clean cuticle, but also a super perfect application of these blushes to make sure that the natural nail is enhanced as much as possible. And that's what we're doing here. We take the natural nail and make it as beautiful as 
possible and what we can do with it because then you have a shorter nail, a very elegant, soft nail, so, and it's, it's also a nail that fits with everything you wear. So, curing. Now it's cured, I think. Uh, yeah, it's cured. Uh, and one thing more, of course, um, uh, after curing time, the complete curing time, always uh, take away the sticky layer and then use a white block or something else. You don't have to, but at least uh, take away the sticky layer because your, uh, uh, your blush can uh, stain a little bit from black, uh, uh, black pants or... Um, they are like pigments in clothes, and you can really see that, especially on these very light colors. Uh, always take the sticky layer uh, for, uh, to avoid that problem. But also, uh, when you are going to add the uh, a top gel, and you don't took away the sticky layer, uh, your a top gel is going to um, uh, it, it tears open a little bit. It's going to yeah, it, it's better yeah, how, how can I when you that? apply the blushes. Before you apply any top gel, so you apply the blushes, clean the surface after curing with prep and wipe to remove the tacky layer or the sticky layer before you apply the top gel. This makes the application of the top gel easier and more perfect and it prevents staining of the blush nails by coated clothing. So this can be a clothed jeans, for instance, and it can stain a little bit. So make sure that you remove all of the sticky layer before applying the top gel and you will have no problem whatsoever. No. Mia Maria is asking, Sarisa, if you also use Sil's uh, Choice brush at the cuticle and the side walls. Of course, yes, this is a perfect brush because it is in between the Detailer 3 and Jessica's Choice. So it's, it's a perfect blend of those two brushes. So you can use it for anything and also for blending. And that is what I'm going to show you uh, in a couple of seconds. Yeah, so and Linda perfect. just loves your, uh, Linda Schaasma says, I love the new blushes, they're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and Syriza, your blazer matches the color Latte Macchiato perfectly. Yeah, that's why I wear this today. I think I need a, a chai latte, so fits. <laughs> especially for this collection. Okay, uh, the next step is uh, you can use all kind of nail art products right now. Um, I'm going to use the Chameleon Flakes. Be very careful, uh, especially with these colors, uh, with these colors, that you don't use two uh, uh, glitters that are too big because otherwise you can, um, uh, you can see the white pigmentation. Uh, it it damages the glitter effect a little bit. So. Uh, you, you have to use glitters as flat as possible. So the chameleon flakes are perfect uh, to use right now. You also can use foils or uh, yeah, everything that is really flat. So uh, think about it. And try. You have to try, try out and find out yourself. I have the chameleon flakes because, uh, yeah, those are my favorites. You can use the uh, sticky layer to, get your, uh, uh, to keep your brush a little bit sticky. And then you can easily pick up the chameleon flakes. You can place them everywhere, of course. But I love this design with glitters close to the cuticle. I don't know why it is, but it never gets out of style. Nice and well. A little bit like that. It's also cool how you see the jar of chameleon flakes underneath your tip. Yeah. And it shimmers through like hidden gems. Oh, I want to wear it like this. <laughs> okay, so it's on it. And then I'm going to put this back into the twin light for another 10 seconds to just uh, let the um, chameleon fla flakes freeze a little bit into the sticky layer of the gel. Don't forget to put on the cap. <laughs> Otherwise, if you breathe too loud, it's going to be everywhere. And then I have a little bit of uh, blush glossy or rubber base clear. Uh, a clear product uh, is perfect where you can uh, build a little bit with. Okay, I have my glitters over here. I always use my glove just to assure that every uh, that all the flakes are flattened down I'm going to use the rubber base clear you also can use a uh, blush glossy and I'm going to apply a little bit of the rubber base 
onto the glitter, not only to seal it, but also to uh, build up the cuticle area a little bit. Yeah. Over the glitter, so it's a little, very thin build up. And this is just about enough. So I have my first build up over there. Yeah, just to protect the glitter to and protect to keep the it transparent. And to keep it transparent. This is the most important thing. And cure. For another 30 seconds should be enough. It's a clear product and I'm not going to fully cap uh, the, clear, uh, the clear rubber base. So 30 seconds is just about enough. Yeah, I see that Karin Kramer says that it's princess nails. Yeah. People are joining us. Camilla says, good evening, everybody. Hello, Camilla. Sabine is actually uh, translating in the comments as well <laughs> for Armine um, in Armenian or uh, Bianca Freigang is also translating in German. So thank you for all of your help. Of course, this show will also be made available this Friday with a voiceover in French. German, Spanish or Italian and of course with subtitles of your choice when you check out our YouTube page, Magnetic Nail Talk that is, if you want to have more information. Of course, while we do the open house days or the Magnetic Worldwide discount days, Cerise and I will also go regularly live. We'll do that in Nail Talk Live, the group, but I'll also go in the International Nail Talk Live group, just showing you all what happens behind the scenes at Magnetic Headquarters. when. We have one part, the shop, that's open for everybody to, to visit and to enjoy a demo or to see what we're doing. And in the back, we have our warehouse team that makes sure that all of the online uh, orders are picked and ready to go on Monday straight to your door. So it's a whole big thing that you don't always know when you're just in the shop. So we'll <laughs> take you a little bit in the back of the company. Sirisa, it is now cured, and what yeah. will you do now? Yeah, it's cured, and I'm going back to my uh, to my chai latte. That, that sounds so nice. Uh, I'm going back to my uh, to the same uh, blush color, of course. And you can see this first uh, uh, base layer that I made gives it a, gives it a little bit of the same shade, of course, of the chai latte. So it's not completely transparent, but you still see the color a little bit. Um, uh, underneath. So I'm going to place my chai latte thin, very important, don't build up too much, but work, work very thin, covering a little bit of the glitter over here, of the chameleon flake, sorry, so that I get a little bit of a, um, a, a milk bath 3D a little bit of a depth or something. Well, Naomi O'Connor is having a glass of wine to celebrate her birthday today, together with a perfect e-workshop. So from here, we have to also congratulate you, Naomi. I also did it through the comments, but happy birthday, all the best wishes, and I hope you will have a great evening and had a great birthday. So congratulations from all of us here at Nail Talk Live and Magnetic Nail Design. Yeah, congratulations. And now I'm going back to uh, Sylvana's Choice. First, let me take away the glitter. I'm going back to Sylvana's Choice, and I have a little drop of the rubber base clear on my paper palette over here. And what I'm doing right now, I can show you. This is the rubber base. I'm going to, I'm going to run my hairs through the rubber base. Not too much. And then I'm going to blend the blush the blush over the uh, chameleon flakes and i'm really pressing down the hairs of the brush i don't know if you can see that properly yeah 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 we see that we see that you drag the product uh, yeah. as it were dragging it and then very Beautiful. easy you can make a a very easy blend and be careful of the uh, the the uh, rest of the application of course because over here you can see a little a uh, dinge, and of course you can use Sylvana's brush to correct that. Very easy, like this, and it's already gone. And then cure this first layer. Nadia Munk is asking, why rubber base and not the clear blush? Uh, you can use a uh, any kind of gel that you want. It's uh, uh, It doesn't matter too much. Okay, so because you Stephanie from uh, Van Maurix is also asking why rubber base and not base and top? Well, you can use any clear gel that you need just to make sure that you have that clear area on that nail. 
Yeah, but base and top it's a little bit uh, maybe thin. It runs a little bit too much. And when you're working close to the cuticle, uh, for me, it feels better when I have a product that stays a little bit more uh, in place, like rubber base or blush glossy, instead of the base and top. Base and top is going to run a little bit faster. And now I'm buying myself a little bit of more, a little bit more time. So, but you also can work with base and top. I would not recommend the top gel. Uh, I don't know why, maybe you can use it uh, uh, because our Supreme Finish uh, can, uh, you can apply that on the natural nail. So um, I think it's going to be okay, but I really love the sticky layer as well, uh, especially when I want to blend um, uh, my blush gel into that transparent area. So uh, pick your poison. We're going to the second layer if it's needed. But I think I add a, a second layer, a little bit more, and I want a little bit more coverage. So second layer. You can place the product on the same position and then blend it even more to the cuticle, but you also can, uh, uh, can, de uh, can decide to leave your blend exactly like this and stay a little bit underneath the blending area like I did, like I do uh, right now. So I already have three layers of blush. So for me, a buildup uh, is not necessary because three layers of blush is enough product, as you can see. So I, so I would recommend if you want to um, uh, uh, try to do this, uh, uh, to make this design, just use this um, uh, layers. Yeah, the layers, not and it's build, always al already it. perfect. Yeah, and it's thin enough. and strong enough just to wear uh, for a couple of weeks. Yeah, like this beautiful Sriza. Okay, and when you're done, of course you cr you can create all kind of variations. You also can make ombres with it. Very nice. Also tried it, but I don't have too much time today because yes, you can have a lot of exciting uh, uh, nail art uh, designs. But I'm going to show you a little bit different designs. Oh, cool. Here you can see. Yeah, I think that's very nice. Uh, 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 you can experiment a little bit with the foils, of course. Chameleon flakes again, little foils over here, and uh, you have to yeah take care of the um, uh, coverage of the product because it's a little bit more than regular blushes. So work thin and always use a clear product to blend. And then you can make designs like this. People are already asking in the comments, what's the homework? I will disclose the homework a little bit later because the homework is not done with the blush coffee collection, but has more to do with springtime flowers, but a little bit more. Thank you for showing this, Risa. Is it ready? Or it's do you almost have ready. Step? I'm going to, uh, uh, to put a, no, I'm not going to do that because I have a sticky layer. I want to show you one more design. I'm sure you already saw a design like this, but I want you to show. Uh, I want to show you how easy and how fantastic it is to make this very nice um, marble designs with the coffee blushes. Oh, cool! Very nice, very easy. Just work in a wet layer of blush and then uh, marble the hell out of it. <laughs> I think it's very nice, and because the colors are so close to each other, it's a very soft, uh, soft design. So these are just two colors, one color applied as a base layer, leave it uh, wet, uncured, and then a couple of drops of a different shade into it. Yep. And then before curing, you just marble it with, for instance, Sylvana's Choice Brush. Yeah, I use Sylvana's Choice Brush because with this brush, I can do everything what I show you today and also this marble design. So I think this uh, is a multifunctional brush uh, where you can also make this marble design uh, as you prefer. So I think you have a lot of nice, you can do a lot of nice things with the product I show you. And I hope to see uh, more uh, from you guys. Yeah, perhaps we can do one uh, photo of on top shot of the marble designs and the other plate with the three designs so that we see and that we can have take a snapshot as a memory. Yeah, can I do like this and then like this? Chick, 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 chick. Of <laughs> course. Okay, first one, three, two, two one. one. Screenshot. Screenshots. Click, click. Okay. And the other one, the marble design. So keep it still. Three, two, two one. one. Screenshot. Screenshot. 
screenshot. And now you have a little bit of inspiration for when you're working in yeah. your salons using the coffee blushes or any of the other blushes, of course, because the blush range of products is growing and growing and growing and growing. Before we continue, and we will continue with Dermatalk about the Hypernicium, we first have to see that blush commercial blushes to go, coffee to go, with our blush babes. And of course, if you want to use these commercials to show your clients that you offer the new Blushes Coffee Collection, you can find these either on YouTube or in the Facebook group and just show them to your clients or show the rest of the world that you are not selling cheese. No, you're selling blush coffees. A little bit later on, of course, also the new gel polish collection, which brings a lot of sunlight and shine to these almost spring days. But before we go there, I first have to welcome Jessica because she took over the tech table from Seriza. And Jessica, you all know her because she takes care of the homework and she's the voice of Nils Vok Life when you have any questions. Yes, uh, thank you for the introduction, Pupa. And yes, uh, I already took place and um, uh, I'm preparing my table. Oh, it, I hear that your sound is not working. Now? So Better? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you for the introduction, Pepijn. Uh, yes, I'm already preparing my table for later on because I've got, got a lot to show you guys. Um, yeah, the jelly bean collection, of course, the gel polish collection and our newest stamping plates. Yeah, but that will be in just a little bit, yes. because of course first we have to go into Dermatalk and Wendy about the Hypernicium. You know, that dirty little rascal underneath your nails that sometimes makes it very difficult to fit a form. So enjoy and pay attention, we'll be right back. Hi and welcome to Dermatalk. This time we're going to talk about the Hyponychium and the Onycodermal band. Probably you already know the first term, Hyponychium. Maybe the Onycodermal band is something new for you. But we will get into that because those are together. They are best friends. They are both at the end, very end of our nail bed. If we zoom in on the nail, we can see the Hyponychium making sure that it's the end of the nail bed, but a little bit in front of it is the onychodermal band. Because the hyponychium is really like a thin tissue skin layer, which is a bit of a fold, and if we only would have that fold over there, this would not be strong enough. We would have the nail plate lifting from the nail bed very often, and our body came up with a really clever solution they made the onychodermal band. This is a very tough and strong type of skin, um, which is kind of similar to the nail bed, but really sticky to the other side of your nail plate. And sometimes you can also see this onychodermal band. I've brought this picture with me of nail nails 
which are a little bit damaged. Uh, she got uh, nails removed. And you can see the nail beds, which is pink. And then you can see like this really light yellow band, which is not the smile line. And then you see the free edge with the smile line. So if you look closely, the smile line is over here. And the oligodermal band is a little bit more yeah, on top. Over here you see it too, over here you see it too. So it looks like as if your client has a double smile line, but it is not, because the smile line is actually the um, hipponychium showing through our nail plate, because our nail plate is um, translucent, does not have any color of, it of itself. So the smile line is uh, uh, yeah, a sign of your hyponychium. And the onychodermal band, which is the second smile line, this is what you see, especially in your nails when they are damaged. Uh, you can sometimes also see them when your client gets ill, when they have uh, liver issues or kidney failure. Uh, this onychodermal band also can turn red, can turn into another color. We will get into that later. But what is really important for you to know right now is that you do not only have the hyponychium, but also the oligodermal uh, band, which makes sure that your nail plate is really strongly adhered to your finger. There's so much more we can all do about the natural nail anatomy and pathology. So much to do and all about the natural nail anatomy and pathology. Something went wrong here a little bit and that's why, was it, why was my uh, sound was off. But here I am again. So, anywho, dermatog, a very important thing to know. The, did you know about the onychoderma bands? Because I didn't the first time I heard about that. Of course, I know about the hypernychium because my natural nails have a long, long, long hypernychia. Anywho. In the month of April, we have a lot of interesting e-workshops for you available. Let's have a look at what these are. Of course, tonight it's new products with Ceriza and Jessica. And Jessica will be on screen in just a little, little, little bit. Next week, it's all about the manicuring surface. And this will be the first time for Chrisje. And Chrisje is taking care of the magnetic shop in Weert. Chrisje always does the nails of her husband, and we've noticed in Holland, because we've done a couple of manicure shows, that it's really a, an almost forgotten group of clients that you can easily cater to, perhaps with a color, but just a perfect manicure is also something that most men are very proud of. Then Jessica comes back to show us all of her top gel tips and tricks, because Jessica has a lot of tips and tricks up her sleeve, and she really is the queen of using the products to their best advantage. So make sure that you mark your calendar for that show. And we'll end the month of April with Silvana, our blush babe, and she will come to the studio to show you and me how to make the perfect photo for your social media. Nowadays, it's very important that you create your own signature in the photo content that you post, making sure that your clients recognize or get intrigued by what they see on your timeline and what you share on Facebook and on Instagram. Marketing is super important for every business, but especially as a nail tech, it's important to show the world that you have cheese or that you make the most beautiful nails and that any client can come to you for their perfect fantasy surface. So a lot of different e-workshops for you in the coming month and of course the month of May and June. We are already working on those, booking it further and further, making sure that we have a lot of interesting ideas for all of you. Let's go back to my script and yes, I think that we need to go to Jessica. And Jessica, welcome. You were already on screen of course, but you're going to take us into the happy world of jelly beans. Yes, absolutely. And it is a happy world because of those beautiful, beautiful, bright colors that are coming out this weekend. And I have the, um, the honor to show them in real life now to you. So as Cerisa already did and show you all those beautiful, beautiful boxes. So I will go, I'm going to show you the same boxes, but now for the jelly bean collection. So let me first do this because these are just so happy and bright the jelly bean collection with beautiful colors inside 
And if we are looking at the bottles themselves, then you can see on the outside, of course, uh, the color that is inside. Oh, and they're so cute, so the jelly cute. beans. So cute, I love Of course, they were created beans. by Marike from our art department. Yeah. And she just, uh, they, they are so cute. They st tell a story, the jelly beans. But don't make a mistake that you think that the color of the jelly bean is the color of the bottle or the gel polish inside. It's actually the color of the bottle that is the color of the gel polish. Am I right, Jessica? Yes, yes, exactly. The color of the bottle is the color that's inside. Yeah. So beautiful. I already prepared these uh, beautiful colors, all of them, on color pops, of course. And I will just pull okay, them in. Okay, hold on to Ooh. your seats here Ooh. because this is just summer jumping out of the screen. Okay, yeah, it is. Absolutely. So okay. uh, let's Are we have ready? A, a, a tequila sunrise. Okay, first, yeah. let's take a tequila sunrise. And now I will pull out my gloves, pull them in. Screen. Are you ready? Okay, let's see. Look oh. at those popping out, guys. I will Aren't just zoom amazing? out a tiny bit, a bit to make sure that yes, we have please. them all. Just, oh, of course, I'll go the wrong direction. Yes, and of course, yes. but we know you. Here we go. <laughs> And look at them, so shiny and matte, uh, yeah, the extreme matte top over or the supreme finish, beautiful, a little metallic shine in and really good coverage and I love them. Yeah, and they have a, a shine, a mother of pearl metallic yeah. shine and it just, it, it, it screams happiness. They do. Eh, Jessica? They do. Scream happiness. Scream. Well, not <laughs> too loud, but scream. Yeah. Well, you saw them on screen, of course. I love them, and I even love them to wear them like this, but in an art. And I will show you later on. They are amazing. Just the coloring, little elements, and even do an ombre. Nice and quick. Yeah. We also have an image of the whole collection of the jelly beans, just to remind you how sweet and fun this collection is. So have a look at these. Well, this is just, oh, wow. I love candy, I love jelly beans, I love magnetic, I love gel polish. So this is the best of all worlds, all put into one. Yeah. What is your favorite color, Ye uh, Jessica? Oh, don't ask me that question, Pepine. We always have to choose our favorite. Um, maybe, I think the tangerine, maybe. Oh. Or, or the green, um, I don't know. The tangerine, really nice and poppy, yeah. But ask me tomorrow and I will say, say another color. Yeah, but you love uh, very poppy yes, colors, I strong do. colors. So yeah, okay. Well, we've seen this. Uh, what are you going to What are you going to do with us? <laughs> well, I'm going to show you, of course, uh, all of those beautiful art. But first, I need to show you uh, another new product, and that is the stamping plate, Pepin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, that is what I'm going to show you. And the first demo is made a little bit with uh, those jelly bean collections and, of course, uh, the new stamping plate that we have. Do you want me to show the stamping plate already on screen? Yeah, I, I think I, we yeah? love stamping plates. Okay. So, and, and you're going to use a stamping plate, so mesmerize us with the stamping plate. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's see the stamping plate. I know um, the upcoming nail art, I'm feeling it. It's really springy. Well, not really outside, but it's going to be springy, hopefully. And we love the springtime, don't we, girls? And, of course, the summertime. And with those um, beautiful seasons, we need flowers. So that's why we have a beautiful flower stamping plate outcoming this weekend. And I will show you on screen with beautiful, like simplistic flowers, fine lines, love them, and even to color in uh, more bigger elements, mm -hmm. and even the full cover, like I really love this one, just over the nail bed and then a black French manicure next to it, really cool. Yeah, Magda was already saying flowers are a must-have this season. Yes. Uh, Jessica, you're always involved in the creation of these stamping plates because not only are you super creative, but you also use these stamping plates in your classes a lot. Yes, I do. I do, exactly. Um, first, uh, when I started to give hand painting classes, um, I found that uh, people are really having difficulties making thin lines. And thin lines is the outline of an element, of course. So uh, let's say for flowers, let's make it easy just to make the stamp. 
the outline. A flower and then color it in, fading and um, giving um, uh, shading and highlights into that stamp to make it more realistic. So it's more easy. And then I started to, yeah, uh, work together um, uh, with, um, with HQ and, and with the art department. And uh, yeah, looking at beautiful implements, elements to put on our stamping plates to make life easy. I see a great question by Elvira. Hello, Elvira. Elvira. Um, and she's asking which, if you can make the same effect as you do with a pearl paste gel, with these jelly bean collection gel polishes. And you can, because yes. actually I saw some of our distributors already did this. I believe Magda and Bianca already did it. Uh, I don't know if Jessica already tried it, but you get the beautiful, beautiful swirl effect if you just use a dotting tool. Yes. Exactly, it's really easy, really, really, really easy. It's um, less thick, so it's a little bit different, but I really, you really can see the swirls that you made in and uh, cure them. Yeah, it's really cool and fast nail art, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure that our distributors can post those images of the swirly effects also in the International Nail Talk Live group for all of, your, for all of you as inspiration. That's what I wanted to say. Um, you're almost ready to show us what you're going to create for us, of course, Jessica. But shall we first go through the homework? Because the homework is based and revolves around what you're going to show us. So that's helpful. Oh, that's a good idea. So what is the homework this week? Get inspired by Jessica and create a set of spring floral nails. And this can be a set on color pops or, of course, on a client or, or a model. Five color pops and a set of uh, floral spring tastic nails that just make us uh, scream for even more sun and even more warmth and sun rays and make us think of vacation while dreaming of flowers. Well, Jessica is going to show us different ways to create these flowers, but of course you have some rules. You have two weeks, so the deadline is set on the 17th of April, and you have two weeks to upload your homework using the link that you can find in the album, New Products and Discounts. If anything needs improvement, Jessica herself will contact you and help you through it. And don't forget to submit your step-by-step -step photos. No more than four step-by-step -step photos and of course your final end result photo. If you do all of that, then I have an amazing prize for you. It's just the best prize ever because you can choose your prize. You can choose either the whole Blushes to Go collection, all seven shades of blushes, or the whole Jelly Bean collection. So I'm going to contact you when we have decided on the winners. I will contact you personally and I will ask you where your wish, your wish is then my demand. So. A great prize, either the whole Coffee to Go collection or the whole blush collection. I'm just a little bit jealous. I'm a little bit jealous, but I'm more often jealous. But it's a great prize, so it's coming to you. And later tonight, we also have, of course, the winners of the challenge of Mia Marie. So just hold on for that. Jessica is here, luckily, to hold us through and take us into the wondrous world of nail art, Jessica. So are you there to take it away? I am here, Pepijn. I am here. So let's first uh, do the first design with our beautiful stamping plate that I've uh, just shown you. Um, so my background is just a whitest white gel polish. And um, normally I would have the sticky layer just put on, uh, stayed on. But of course, I needed to take that with me. So my sticky layer is off of the whitest white gel polish, two layers. Okay, now I'm going to the colors. The color, let's say green, the sour apple, um, the berry blue, the blue, and then the yellow, the lemon drop. And with these colors, I'm going to create my ombre. So I am going to mix these colors together. Uh, maybe a little bit on screen, Pepijn? Yeah, of like course, this. that's interesting. Yeah, okay. So I need this green to be a little bit more uh, darker. And you use the whitest white base to make the colors pop even more? Yes, ah. yes. And I'm just going to um, add a little bit of this blue to the green so I get a more like a teal feeling. And mm -hmm. I'm mixing this with this beautiful brush, Sylvana's brush. Okay, with this brush as well, I'm going to take off a drop. Yeah. 
put this out of camera. And I'm going to do oh, the ombre oh, oh, on the half of my tip. Oh, okay. So don't um, be afraid that it's not really um, a straight, perfect line. Later on, we will go into um, fix the line with a white line. So now the green. Yeah. So it's a little bit brighter. Cool. And now that beautiful, bright, neonic yellow. Neonic. neonic. The new word of 2024. <laughs> it's, it's neonic, isn't it? Or it neon, definitely is. Neon. I wouldn't know a better word for it. Okay, okay. So even with uh, our Silvana brush, you can do the ombre nice and quick, nice and easy, or use your ombre brush, of course. Whatever you like. You see already that the colors are really into each other and really mixing well with each other. Of course, if you have too much, just remove. Put it on your brush wipe and go further just by poking in between the layers. Oh, it's nice and bright. So the other way around, really flat and just let those colors blend in together nice and easy. Of course, you can do this in two layers, but this is just a background for my stamp to give a little bit more color to my end result. So I think this is good. Yeah. I'm going to uh, cure this for 30 seconds, and in the sticky layer, I'm going to put something extra. Ooh. Something Ooh, extra, because something it's already an extra. ombre. So 30 seconds, and then you're going to add something to this. Yes. Uh, are you going to use the sticky layer to add your Exactly, secret? exactly, Pepin. Because the sticky layer of the gel polishes are perfect, really perfect, to put on flakes or um, little tiny shiny parts. And I'm going to use now the clear inlay. And we have uh, a whole lot of uh, different colors. Uh, this is a really beautiful color, number 25. Um, with a, a, a kind of bluish purple shine in it. And again, I'm using Silvana's brush because that mm -hmm. brush is really amazing. Yeah, you just uh, you are in love with Silvana's I am brush. Yes. Are you perhaps a little bit jealous? <laughs> 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 I am completely in love. And as Pepin or, or Sarisa already told, uh, the Detailer 3. And yeah, perfect because it's a little bit thicker, but that really nice sharp point. I love it. So perfect for art as well. Perfect. So just stick them in. Yeah. And a 10 Cute second. Cute a little goes a long way. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I agree. 10 seconds curing time. And then my background for my stamp is complete. So I am going to add one layer of the Extreme Matte Top Gel. And then it looks like this. Okay, you're so fast. I am. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful, I already right? like it like this. I do too. I do too. I love it. So this is just the background. And uh, when I'm going to art on this, you can use liner gels. And I really love to maybe fix that line a little bit to make it more sharp. Again, Sylvana's brush. And I'm going to mix a liner gel white with Cerisa Sweeties white together to make that high shine on top of that beautiful matte surface. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, let's have a look at this because I also want to go to the behind the scenes of the commercial of the jelly bean. But first, we'll have a look at this first step. Yeah. And then we'll go to the behind the scenes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to put my drop at the cuticle area of my color pop, my color tip, and just pulling it down, pulling it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. I can fix it later on. Mm -hmm. But now my line is straight. Yeah. And now I'm just going to make it wide and even, pulling down with Sylvanas Choice. And if you are perfectly happy with your line, you can cure this for one and a half seconds. Uh, minutes. Uh, yeah, minutes. <laughs> Do minutes, that's better. <laughs> well, it's even one and a half hours, eh? sometimes I Sometimes, think. yes. But yeah. if we're at the tech table, sometimes we get lost in our own ideas, of yes. course. Um, you're working together with gravity a little bit. So you're pulling the product with your brush, 
making it easier for you to create a sharp line. I isn't that true? That is perfect. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. Okay, well, I feel this is the perfect moment to go behind the scenes of the Jelly Beans collection. And Jessica also created the beautiful nail art that you see on the hands of our model. So pay close attention and later the complete commercial. We used a lot of jelly beans that day, and we still have the jelly beans actually in the office. And I have to be careful that I don't take some of them, because um, if you start with jelly beans, you cannot stop with jelly beans. Anywho, so we have an almost abstract nail. We have one side with an ombre with just a dash of glitter details, a white side, mud, and then the straight line in the middle, Jessica. So what now? Oh, now the stamp, now the stamp. I saw a question, uh, why is it white? Uh, the, the colors need to be poppy like that more. No, I it's uh, my background is white because I want one layer, one side of my nail to be white. It's not because uh, those colors would pop even more. They are poppy themselves, as you have seen on the color pops that I'll show you uh, in the beginning. So now I'm going to fill my stamping plate with liner gel black and liner gel doesn't need a top gel, so I can work on top of this surface. Perfect. So first, fill in my plates. I will show you. Which design are you going to use? I'm going to show use ah, this yeah. beautiful flower. And I'm just filling in, pressing in with my liner gel black, like this. And now scraping with my card, I'm just going to do it like this, so it's more easy for me to clean my card in between. Cleaning my card in between. There's not yes. really a uh, time pressure here because it's liner no. gel. No. So you can just take your time. That's why I love to work, uh, to use stamps with liner gels. I love it. Just going to clean the side of my plate. Just let it in. And now I am stamping with my um, clear stamping my clear stamp, I need to say. So, um, my nail is already cured, my line is perfect in place, and now I'm going to roll over. Yeah, because you do this with a rolling motion. Yeah, like this, a rolling motion when I do liner uh, gel. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is, we can see beautiful. it perfectly. Like this, and when I use nail polish, I go in straight. And okay. quick. And quick, yeah. Yeah, now I have all the time. And it's perfect because I can see through. Maybe you can see it on the top shot like this. You can see. Yeah, and then yeah. you can position it perfectly. Yeah, okay. So I'm first rolling it over like this, pressing, gently pressing. And now it's on um, my... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now, because I can see through, I can really see where I want to have my flower. I'm always a little bit different, so I really would love it to have it this way. A little bit over my line. Mm -hmm. And of course, oh, and rolling movement as well. Like ah, this. Nah, well, there it is. Cool, Nothing huh? beats a stamping plate. No, so this needs to cure. And let's do one and a half minutes now. But I have already prepared this for you. So this is cured and this is already done. I really love it because my uh, background is giving my flowers a little bit more extra detail because of the beautiful, beautiful clear inlay underneath. But you can also say, let's take a little bit of top gel, like Supreme Finish. And <gasps> give my oh beautiful my flowers just a little bit more height. Beautiful. And of course you can color them in with glass polishes even. Oh, beautiful. And if you look really closely, you see a little bit of bullions. 
Oh, yeah, in the, the heart. Center. Oh, this is better. Thank you, Deborah. Oh, yeah, now we can see it. Don't you just love it? I also think this is the perfect angle for the screenshot. Ooh. Don't Ooh. you agree? Let's give her a little friend then. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, oh, so cute. Well, let's go, Jessica. Okay. Three, two, one. Screenshot. Screenshot. Beautiful. And the other one was also made with the stamping yes, plate? Yes, yes. With yes. the same new stamping plate? With the same new stamping plate. I only did a little bit of hand painting because this is the stamping plate, uh, the element. <laughs> and I just added a little bit of leaves extra, hand painted on. So you can create your own elements and your own stamping and make it more unique. Yeah, let's have a closer look at that stamping plate so that you see which designs are available when you choose to shop this new stamping plate. Floral Tastic or Floral Power, here you see them. So some full color design or cover designs and a couple of bigger flowers that you can use either with a top gel to do like Jessica did or a glass gel polish. The options and possibilities are really endless. So great that we have that Im image also there. I have a question, Jessica, and the question is from Laura, Laura Nils Laurence. Your stamp still is very clear, Jessica. How or did you prepare it? <laughs> It's really clear. Yeah, well, it's not my own stamp. <laughs> it's from the studio because you need to all see really perfectly um, what I'm doing and what is to see on my stamp. My own stamp is more dull and that's because I work with it a lot. This is a more new stamp, so it's like how you buy it in the shop. But later it will get dull because you use them and you work with them. If you have... Um, more difficulty to see through when you are stamping, that is maybe the uh, moment to buy a new one, but keep the old one in place because I always have one for uh, long lasting polishes and the other one for liner gel, for pigments, for you can use a whole lot of products to stamp with. But liner gel and pigments and all those beautiful products tend to dull your stamp more uh, faster. So I have two stamps, yeah. But yeah, really good eye. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I think I li made a little note that we'll do an international e-workshop all about stamping together with you, Jessica. Ooh. Because you have so many ideas and tips and tricks, pigments, uh, um, making something look the other way. There are many, many, yeah. many tricks. Some of you know them, but I'm sure not everybody knows them. So it's about time that we get that going a little bit again. Uh, before we continue to your second design, Jessica, because mm -hmm. you have more than one design for us tonight, we already saw the behind the scenes. Now we have to look at the Jelly Beans, the commercial. All the nail art that you saw was created by Jessica. So you can see that a little bit of black with these poppy colors just creates a whole different look and feel all over and makes it more um, graphic almost, like graphic art. So what I also already said, we have more than one design by Jessica because of course to create your floral, spring floral homework, you have to have more inspiration than just one technique. So I think we need to go back to Jessica and see what else she has in stock for us. 
Ooh, a lot of more. But again, with those jelly bean collections, uh, you can ombre, uh, ombre really easy. I showed you already. Um, uh, thank you for the compliments, uh, Magda, uh, because you like the art in the commercial. One of those designs, similar, I'm going to show you an ombre from one side to another. So I'm going to do that with two colors. And again, I'm using uh, Sylvana's uh, choice. And I'm going to use the um, lemon drop and the tangerine, that beautiful orange color, uh, for one side. And what is the base color? Oh, sorry. Nail plate extended gel polish. Ah, okay. Just to have a nude background. Of course, you can work um, with those beautiful coffee blushes as well as a background. Huh? So, from one side to the middle, remove excessive products from my brush, like this. And again, you can pull, like Sarisa did, all the way up, or halfway up, and you can use your um, ombre brush for this as well. Just pulling it out, pulling it out. And now in the center, just going from one side to the other to mix those colors together. And they work so easy for you. Look, now they are soft. Just amazing. Just amazing. So easy. Really fast. And just to make it more flat, I'm pulling uh, with the ombre brush. Uh, per Nilla is asking whether or not you're working on the sticky surface of the gel polish. I think you remove the sticky surface. Eh? Yeah, and that's just because uh, for transportation, because I have driven a whole uh, lots of kilometers, uh, kilometers today. Um, but normally I would leave the sticky layer on. For the people that don't know, how many kilometers away from Magnetic Nail Design head office do you live? <laughs> um, let me think. Um, I drive uh, back and forth 268 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, so half. <laughs> yeah, and you're almost half the week, uh, you're in the office in Soesterberg giving classes <laughs> and helping with everything in front of the scenes and behind the scenes. Yes. So for Holland, that's quite a long distance. I know that if you're in um, Sweden, yeah. it isn't as long because <laughs> Sweden is like a long country, but for <laughs> Holland, it is really from side to side and you're through. So Holland is only a very small country with, but with a lot of passion for making beautiful nails. Yes. Absolutely, and I love, and I don't mind driving. And what is one and a half hours? Yeah. So, um, okay. Um, if you are really happy and you like the coverage already, or just do it second time, uh, the ombre, and um, then an extreme matte top again, and then I'm going to paint some black lines to make these colors even pop more. And springtime is coming, and I'm going to do like yeah the floral butterfly feeling uh flowers that we used to make but fine yeah i know i saw what yeah. you created and i was totally in love yeah so first the center just a little dot ski um a little dot in the middle of where my flower is going to be to have the center okay now i'm going to make like really swirly lines. And I'm just pulling from that little dot, which has products in, to create the biggest line, the biggest leaf. And I'm just and is this a pure liner gel black or is it mixed? No, this is pure. I love to work pure um, on top. Yeah. And it's really shiny as well. Um, even if you mix it with Cerisa Sweeties, it is a little bit more fluid. Uh, some really love to work with that mixture. And I love both. I love pure liner gel black to work uh, like this. If it's white... I need that mixture with Cerisa Sweeties. I think it's too, how do you say it in English? Uh, stoof? It, it, it's, it's more um, it's too thick. soft. Too it's, yeah. it's, it's tasty. Yeah. It's paste-like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I hear in my ear of from uh, Deborah, she says, oh, it's like a butterfly. It's yeah, almost butterfly. like a butterfly meets a flower. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. If a butterfly and a flower had a baby, this would be it. This would be the end result. I would love it, yeah. <laughs> a butterflower. A butterflower. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Now I always have the difficulty because this side is really good to see, but I am right. So maybe... Let's cure this, and I will show you how it is when I have made the left flower. Butterflower. Flower. Oh, <laughs> great. Well. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And, of course, for a client, you can ask her uh, to um, put on her ha uh, hand the other way around. So you can still paint on the right side of the nail. Okay. Now, again, I love extra sparkle, extra detail. And I'm just taking a little bit of top gel, base on top, whatever you like, to have um, a little stickiness. Stickiness where I want my... flakes my chameleon flakes in a little bit more because you're adding your chameleon flakes on top inside the flower but inside. on top and that's why my uh, first uh, petal um, my first um, a petal, line yeah. this one yeah. yeah it's a petal or a butterfly wing or whatever uh, is bigger so i can give this more In the past, I, I, I also created a nail art a little bit like this, but I always put the flakes underneath. But of course, you can now be more precise with yeah. this application. Yes, yes, exactly. More determined. Mm -hmm. And the flakes uh, uh, come in really different uh, sizes. So you can really pick the perfect size for the perfect petal or uh, wing or whatever you are making. For the perfect design element. Yeah. And they are really flat, so it's really cool um, to use as an extra detail in your art. Be careful uh, to really put it inside of the petal, like this. And on the other way, other side, I'm going to do that too. Just one, two, three maybe, and that's it. Okay, so you do, you're not going to add this to all of the design elements? You would, eh? You uh, would. I probably would, yes. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. It's, it's almost like being addicted to glitter. Yep. Just yeah. add it everywhere. But you just choose certain elements. Yeah, just a couple. To give those a little bit more pizzazz, as you may. And curing just a few seconds in. And again, a top gel. And why use a top gel with a sticky layer when we have so many top gels without a sticky layer? And to give it more um, 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 height, height, yeah, height, sorry. And just play more with the different um, petals. So I will show you again my... Oh. Oh. Ooh. What is it? Ooh. 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 Oh, you love it Pearls. already? Oh, oh, oh. oh. love oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> pearls in the middle, pearls in the middle. Um, of course, this was the step next, but hey, whatever. Over those beautiful chameleon flakes, and I will use this one, I will add just one drop. To create volume. Yes, yes. And that drop is now Ooh. laying in between. Yeah, you can yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, yeah. There. yeah we and see then it. pull just with the tip of your brush. So not really in, but over that drop. Just with the tip yeah. of your brush. And do you want to keep it inside the black inside, lines? Inside, oh. yes. It's and like a volumetric design. Yeah. And Yeah, and you can even see just a little bit height. Yeah, I, I see it. So, um, flash cure. So I always do in my, um, in my salon two and a half minutes, my twin light, and just in, in. Yeah, in. I do the same if I play with nail art. Yeah, that's easy. And the drop is not really fully cured, but it will stay in place and you will have more uh, the comp to do the rest. And then you add wherever you have put your chameleon flakes 
a little bit more height. So a drop in, remove your brush. That's really important to get that drop in. To break the line. Yes, thank you. And then pull it over. Oh, my fingers are itching. I also want to make this. Over. Love it. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, and if you want to have the full curing time when you have all your bigger drops in, one and a half curing time, and then you're, uh, you are good to go. And then you have this as the end result, and you've already uh, seen eh, the end result. So, like this, and let me just take shiny, shiny, yeah, I love shiny. Shiny, shiny, next oh. to them. Don't you just love it? Beautiful. I have to say it in Dutch. Prachtig. Prachtig. Oh. Alle machtig. <laughs> I, will, I, I will zoom in a little bit because I, I can. Just a little bit. Okay, okay, yeah. That is cool. Yes. That is cool, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are we going to go? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Screenshot. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I, I love, love it. it. I love it. Yeah, amazing. Uh, <laughs> it almost feels like you're already done for this evening. Mm, almost, Pepijn, almost. Just a teeny tiny quickie nail art. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so uh, Jessica will do one more nail art. But before we go there, if you want to purchase any of these new products or if you want to know what kind of special things our distributors are organizing, this weekend, the 6th, the 7th and the 8th of April, we have worldwide magnetic discount days. So you have a chance to purchase the whole assortment of magnetic products with a super nice discount. And we're also launching the new products, and the new products are without discount. But all of this, this whole weekend, so Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, not only in Soesterberg, via Tocato, but with all of our distributors, whether you're in Holland, or whether you're in Sweden, or wherever you are, you can find uh, the magnetic distributor close to you. You can always visit the website, magneticneildesign.com, click on the distributor part, and then you will see the whole list. But you can always also contact me through Messenger, and I will make sure that you get in contact with the distributor closest to you. So this weekend, super excited about that, because I really am looking forward to spending time with everybody that will visit our shop, and to take you also behind the scenes of what we do behind the scenes during an open house, as we call it in Holland. Open houses when we launch new products and when we do demos in the shops, uh, workshops, and all of our distributors have different programs for you. So contact them, make sure to contact them to purchase your new magnetic loft products or to make sure that you restock your uh, supplies, making sure that you're ready to be ready for the clients that are coming in the coming months when everybody wants to have perfect, beautiful nails because sun is shining, we feel good, we want toenails, we want our fingernails, we want everything, the whole shebang. If you want to have a chance to win an amazing prize tonight, of course you have to make your homework. I almost get emotional from it. <coughs> <coughs> That's it. Of course you have a chance to make your homework to win an amazing prize. And this is the homework assignment. Be inspired by Jessica and create a set of five color pops or real nails, spring floral nails. So using the techniques that you've seen today, just nails with floral designs that scream spring summertime. So you have two weeks to do this. This means that you have until the 17th of April until 11 o'clock in the morning Dutch time. So the time in Amsterdam. Because Jessica needs the time to then contact the, the trainer or to search for the perfect winner. So 11 o'clock in the morning is the deadline. You use the link that you can find in the album called New Products and Discounts. And using that link, you upload your homework, four step-by-step -step photos at the most, and one end result photo. If it's needed, Jessica will contact you so that you can have a second try if, if you need anything else to, to create it or, or fix it. If you do all of this, of course, you get your e-certificate, but you also have a chance to choose the prize that you will win. And you can choose between the whole coffee blush collection of seven different coffee shades or the whole jelly bean collection of the six 
just mystifying summer colors that are the jelly beans. So I will contact you personally to ask which one you choose and we will make sure that it will be shipped to you. So this means that we're already coming toward the end of the show. I'm still, uh, I still have to tell you who the winners are are of Mia Marie's challenge of two weeks ago. But before we do that, we first have to go back to Jessica for the third and last design of this evening. Yes. So uh, again, flowers. And now let's make more easy flowers. Um, of course, you can make uh, a dotting tool. You all know dotting tools to make a dot. OK, so really cool to make uh, flowers with a dotting tool. I'm using um, my brush as a dotting tool. And again, <laughs> Sylvanas choice. Okay, uh, a flower always five little dots. Just removing that. Uh, what is the uh, background color? So this is the Pau Purple. The Pau Purple from the Pop Art collection. From the Pop Art, one of my favorite collections. And uh, nice and bright. And just pulling it a little bit up and I'm now using my white um, for a color of our jelly bean collection to they are covering when I put yellow on top I will show you like this but they will this is the uh, the yellow uh, yeah. color so they are purely on top of purely the yeah, power yeah. Purple. but I really love to make it a little bit more brighter so that's why I'm just adding over these beautiful white flowers uh, extra color, just painting in. I do that a lot uh, with gel polishes as well. Even if the um, gel polish is bright and really nice covering, just a little bit of white under makes the color scream more. I love that. So five little dots and just play with them. Yeah, Nadia Moon from Denmark is saying in the comments, we don't want to go to bed. We want more, more, Aww. more jelly bean collections. Give me more, more, give me more. Oh, that is good to hear. So just at the end, a little, so little flowers. And of course you can cure this. Um, and add later on uh, white, pure leaves. So I'm going to cure this. And I'm just removing that little line. Yeah, Magnetic Yerevan or Armine is asking in the comments. Mm -hmm. Hello, Armine. The homework is that five nails with a design. Well, it's a um, collage of five nails where you show the design. This can be done on three nails or on all five nails. It depends on, on, on the composition. But five color pops or five nails where the summer floral design, the spring flowers, is a very important part based on the techniques that uh, Jessica has shown us tonight. But I'm sure that you will help all of the technicians in Armenia to understand the, the task at hand and to make sure that they create their homework and send it in because Armina is helping a lot to all of our girls here in Armenia to make sure that they understand how to upload it using the correct link. So she's really an active and helpful uh, partner in that part of the country and that goes of course or the world and that goes for all of our distributors that are also translating like Sabine translating simultaneously in French, Bianca translating. So Thank all of you for your help for making these international e-workshops so interesting and understandable, even if you don't speak English. Yeah, it's really lovely uh, to see all of the extra help that you are giving us. Yeah, and so Armin is also helping Ingeborg a lot. Ingeborg is saying in the comments, thank you for that as well. Yeah. So you're now taking your uh, jelly bean color. Yeah, and this is the color bubblegum. Oh, love this one too. See? Now I feel a little bit sad because I said before uh, my favorite one was the tangerine. I love this one too. Look, it's yeah, neonic it too. <laughs> yeah, but also a little bit coral. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. So, and again, uh, after curing, putting some extra um, elements, like the clear inlay, just the same as I've shown you before. Uh, it's the same color, but on a different background, so it's it's a little bit different. 
Cool. Over that, the extreme up top gel. And now let's make those flowers um, one by adding a little bit uh, leaves, two dots, and I'm pulling with the tip of my brush to make it a leaf. And of course, now I'm using uh, this beautiful brush, but you can use every brush you like. Just really be sure that you are pulling with the outside of the hairs. So um, Harriette's choice, perfect. Jessica's choice, uh, even Pepin's choice, I see. Yeah, it's very personal whether use. or not yes. you like a very long uh, hair, long hair to your nail art brush, or short hair to your nail art brush. Yes. And even the cho choice between artificial or real hair makes a big difference. Oh, yeah. And, of course, a great nail artist can create everything with anything. Mm -hmm. And some people just want to make it a little bit easier for themselves yeah. by choosing perhaps a smaller brush or a shorter brush. But that's very personal. So you actually have to get to know all of the brushes to make a well-informed decision. Yes, and even uh, different kind of products. So I love to work um, um, with the real hairs, uh, with another, uh, another product, uh, another brush. And with the uh, gels, I really love to work with the, uh, the choice brushes. Sabine missed something. The first layer of petals was made with liner white. Uh, yes, that's correct. Eh? Yeah, so a mixture. The yeah. mixture of liner white and Cerisa Sweeties white licorice to give a base to the jelly bean color. This is not necessary with all the colors, but it helps to intensify the color a little bit and prevents it from becoming too high. Yeah. So it, it is not necessary, but it helps. It's an extra little step. And in, you know, in nail art, anything goes, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. As we will also see in what the winners of Mia Marie's challenge have made, but just a little bit longer for that. You will also see great nail art. Yes. Yes. Okay. So some extra lines. And of course, in the center, you can add a little extra dots with... Um, Maybe um, the metal gels that we have, the liner gels, really cool. But these are oh. the end results. It's almost like folk art. Yeah, now you say, yeah. It, it, in Holland, we have something that's called hindelopen art, but that's a little bit like this, perhaps a little bit towards one stroke ish folk art. Ish, oh, yeah, yeah. I agree, Papijn, I agree. So I have added this uh, nail art on top of one of the coffee blushes as well <gasps> with the same color oh give you that extra well it's a whole different yeah, it, feeling. it's a whole different vibe yeah vibe yeah is it the same shade in the middle yes yes these are the extreme mud over and these are the uh, supreme finish over. but the flowers the, the, is it the same color or yes is the one it's even the same color no exactly the same yeah but really a different end result cool huh Nah. Nah. Okay, need to do a <laughs> screenshot. Okay. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Screenshot. screenshot. Nah, it's amazing. Beautiful. I actually don't know which I like more, the purple one or the coffee color one. Yeah. Because I don't the one is very posh and almost chic and elegant, and the other one is nice and, and matches my uh, waistcoat. So I don't know which to choose. Did you have more to show us or is this? Yes, I will show you one uh, end result screenshot with all of the tips together and even more that I've made. Uh, maybe for you, for extra inspiration. If you can uh, zoom out a bit. Yeah, but I need the top shot to be able to know that I'm oh zooming yeah. out the correct way. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> I know there's a trick, but I don't know what the trick is. Ah, yeah. If you do it correctly, then we all get a little bit like... Do you think oh, I need to zoom out a little bit thinking? more or is it okay like this? Uh, no, it's okay, I think. I will shove it in place. Well, while you're preparing the top shot, because of course you have the possibility to see top shot while we don't see yes, top yes. shot, I will of course mention again that this weekend we will have worldwide magnetic discount days. That means that you can contact your local distributor and make sure that you shop your favorite magnetic products with a super nice discount or 
to uh, discover the newly launched products. And we are very happy because this is one of the first times after many years that we all join in together. And that's why you're also joining me here, the brand close. manager. Yeah, of course, I was watching the whole show and it was amazing. Your sound. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Uh, 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 of course I'm on mute. Of course I'm on mute. Yeah, it was a, an amazing show, but you are talking about the weekend, right? Yeah, the weekend. Please continue. What are you going to do during this weekend? Uh, I'm going to do demos on the table in the shop and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to answer all the questions and maybe make some demo nails uh, with uh, 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 with clients that uh, come mm -hmm. in. So, so all I'm of looking your the clients that come in with questions, Theresa yeah. will help them at the uh, demo table. Yeah. Of course, it's important to do demos, but also workshops, so contact your local distributor yes. to make sure that you know what the program is in your country and how you can discover the miraculous magic world of magnetic yeah, and try feel and touch the try uh, the, feel the and smell touch. the new products yeah well we always <laughs> smell everything <laughs> of course uh, of course you're here with the reason because yeah. you will uh, tell us who the winners are of Mia Marie yeah we're but winners. first we have to go back to Jessica because she made a beautiful composition and we want to see that composition Your, your sound. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I already took off my sound, sorry. <laughs> um, a beautiful composition for you, uh, just for a little bit of inspiration uh, for your homework assignment. Okay, so let's go to the top shop. Oh my God. Oh, so it's this overwhelming. is brightness. Ooh, the little white ones over there with the green. Oh yeah, well those, on are, the those are double cute. Expression. But those do you see the blue no. ones with the those. line? Oh, the, oh uh, yeah. Mean. yeah the, oh, yeah. and sugared yeah. ones? Is that sugared or is that just look sugared? Which one? Right uh, lower corner. This one? Yeah. Uh, no, it's the same technique oh, wow. uh, as I did with uh, those flowers, nah. but with different colors. Yeah, it, it, it's overwhelming, eh? And also, Can the brown uh, colors are really yeah. like spring designs cool, because huh? of the uh, the bright colors on top of it. Yeah. Jessica, amazing. Yeah, so we have I to do them. the screenshot before. Okay. Okay. Oh, your own nails. We see oh, your yeah. nails as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With Ooh, black next to it. Amazing oh. with the black. Jelly bean, must have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Three, two, two one. Screenshot. screenshot. What do we do? Yeah, everybody oh, loves nice. it. Everybody loves them. I don't know what my favorites are, but of course it's not up to me to choose the favorites. You have to choose which is your favorite to create your homework. Yeah. Talking about homework, two weeks ago, of course, we had the show with Mia Marie. With Mia Maria, she made some fantastic designs, really uh, feminine, beautiful. I was really, uh, really enjoying, uh, of course, the show and, of course, the day with Mia Marie on the head uh, on the headquarters. But uh, of course, you had to do your homework, and then we have a couple of prize winners uh, picking out from that. But first, what was the homework? Let's see. Yeah. First, the homework was uh, five tips uh, or full hands. Compose a stylish design with this technique. Play with your creativity. At least three tips should be uh, should be done with the ombre technique. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, Sounds quite easy. some homework. <laughs> quite some homework, but uh, we saw some uh, amazing results. But of course, we have three winners. Are you ready for the first one? I'm ready. I hope you are ready. I think so too. But we have a little word, of yeah. course, from Mia Marie uh, that I'm going to send out to you right now. Uh, absolutely amazing. I love everything with, the de with this design. The choice of colors, the flowers, the stones and the flakes. And all that together with your background, it's a realistic, really artistic. And I'm totally in love with your work. Congratulations. Naomi, Naomi O'Connor from Ireland. Congratulations, yeah, really Naomi. Really nice. Really nice. Congratulations. And it's really a yeah. spring design. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. It's yeah. beautiful, Naomi. Congratulations nice. with your winning your prize, of course. Yes, but we have uh, another winner, of course. Let's go to the second one. Wow. It starts with wow. Okay. Wow. This color combination caught my eyes in a second. I love how you blended these intense colors so soft and still kept the in intensity in them. The design has a perfect balance between classy and sassy. Beautiful. Congratulations. Beautiful name. Aurora Di Donato from Germany. 
I hope I pronounce your name. Congratulations, uh, right. Aurora Di Donato. And beautiful, nice Aurora, picture as well. Aurora, beautiful as well. And you clearly see the ombre effect. Yeah, nice. Yeah, super well done. Great. You're a, a, a real winner, so congratulations. But we have one more winner this evening. One more winner, last but not least. Uh, I love this style and everything in it. The colors are beautiful, mixing together. And I love how you have played with both color and glitter on the stamping design. Ooh. I get the feeling of being in a place where there's a uh, there is both beauty, pleasure, and peace. Oh, congratulations to you! That's poetic. Yeah, I'm that's poetic. I want to see this design right now. Yeah, I want to see it as okay. well. Yay, Alina Siguisian! Oh, this Alina is from, Armenia. from Armenia! Congratulations yeah. with your beautiful. Well, I see a lot of things happening. A flamingo, really tropical beautiful. trees. Wow. Love, yeah, congratulations, oh, Alina. Congratulations, and a lot of work in those tips. Yeah. Uh, and everybody, of course, we're very happy that you are sending in your homework, and they were all amazing, and uh, you're all winners. But only for those three winners mm -hmm. <laughs> is this very beautiful special prize from me and Marie. Uh, a glass gel polishes, fiber coat white, stamping plate, a rhinestone, a rhinestone carousel, very nice one, and a stamp. Of yeah. course, so you're ready to go with this very nice um, nice prize. Yeah, stamp away. Congratulations, yeah. all three of you, with winning your prize. And of course, Amazing. congratulations, everybody that participated and received their e-certificate. Yeah. I'm sure that Armina will contact Alina to make sure that she gets everything there. I will be in contact with you tomorrow, Armina, because, of course, Armenia is a little bit further uh, away. Yes. So we <laughs> need to arrange yeah, it properly. Um, for that back means... Back to your scripts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going back because, of course, if you want to compete also this week and do your homework, you have to do this homework. Create five nails, a set of spring floral nails and inspired by Jessica. Oh, and there was a lot of inspiration. So I think you can pick one of those designs and make it uh, make it your own. And we want to see the designs, please. Nice. Yeah, we are anxious to see your designs. Yes. Of course, you have two weeks. That means until the 17th of April, until 11 o'clock in the morning, and upload your homework using the link that you can find in the album called New Products and Discounts. If you need any help, don't hesitate to contact us and we'll help and assist you, making sure that you're able to upload your homework. Um, if you do so, you will receive your e-certificate and three people have a chance to choose their prize. Yeah, to choose your prize. That is going to be amazing and it's a very big prize. Yeah, you can choose between the blushes or the new jelly bean collection. I think amazing. Of course, the certificate is already a prize on its own. Yeah, yeah, because that's of course. you can use to show your clients that you are the real professional yeah. that chooses magnetic yes. and that chooses constant, continuous education. Yeah. Oh, through true. physical classes and online classes and shows like these e-workshops. Yeah. Because we do all of this to make sure that the level of skill and knowledge throughout yeah. Europe gets higher and higher yeah. and we all will be more successful. Yeah, in a fun way, a uh, nice and easy way. And you can make it, you can do your homework, whatever you like. You can watch back the show. You don't have to uh, uh, watch the live show. You can watch it uh, after, after the show and then make your homework one that you have two weeks enough time or of course use youtube to make sure that ah. you can sh uh, sh see the show with subtitles in your languages yep. or of course the voiceover versions of the show in french italian spanish and german yeah. so a lot of nail talk live made especially for you the passionate nail technician another passionate nail technician i want to thank you a lot jessica because the things that you showed us tonight were amazing yeah. especially if you know that you forgot something uh oh all of my brushes. <laughs> yeah, but it worked out well uh, because I was so happy that Sylvana's brush was in. And um, thank you all uh, that you have enjoyed my uh, designs. And I hope that I uh, could have inspired you all. And I'm looking, looking so, so, so forward to see all of your beautiful entries incoming uh, for this e-workshop. Um, well, springtime is coming. And I hope to see lots of colors. Thank you all for watching. A uh, big kiss for me and sleep well for later. Bye-bye. <coughs> Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. And I want to quote Jaap who says in the comments, Ireland, Germany and Armenia, a really international outcome. Yeah. Congratulations to all of you. Yeah. Because, and of course, as you know, without Jaap and May, this all would not have not been possible no. and is not possible. No. So thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you, Syriza. And thank you for a great show, Pepine.
It was and a Jessica, lot of fun. Of and we were just 15 minutes too long. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I think we managed today. We <laughs> managed. I said it before. I'll say it again. This weekend, shop your magnetic discount uh, products with discount. Yeah. We will go live behind the scenes yes. from headquarters. Can't wait. Contact your local distributor. And if you don't know who your local distributor is, contact me yeah. using this email address, info at magneticneildesign.com. Make a screenshot for yourself. Three, two, one. Screenshot. screenshot. To make sure that you have a direct line between you and us at headquarters. Yeah. And don't hesitate to ask us anything you think of or need because we are here to help and to assist help. you yeah. because service is, of course, the, the most important thing within the The most design. important thing. And it's really, uh, uh, yeah, it's really a great honor to, to help you uh, get these little steps, uh, uh, to take these little extra steps in your uh, careers. So please let us know if you want to know anything, anything. Yeah, so this was our show for this evening. Yeah. I want to thank also Deborah behind the scenes because you made it possible, even though there were some hiccups, but that had mostly to do with the sound, <laughs> turning it off and turning it on. Mm -hmm. But that, that that just shows how used we are to... And that's life. And, and sometimes that's life, not every time. Yeah. And of course, I want to thank you for joining us this evening and sharing your comments yeah. and yeah. Spread the word. Show the world that we have cheese. Show the world that you are magnetic, as we are magnetic. We are yes. all magnetic. See you soon next week. It's all about the manicure with Krishje. Yeah, very nice. The manicure. Eh? The so manicure. Real man. A like real man. man. But also a quicker way to do a perfect manicuring service. Yeah. So more about that next week. Tune in for our live sessions from headquarters mm -hmm. in the coming days. And for now, we'll just say, see you soon. See you at Nils Live. Live.